Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collective Homeworks Candles haul. So this is kind of a mix of the homeworks.shop and the QVC. So QVC's kind of been like clearancing stuff out lately and I've been checking every day, every few hours because I know yesterday, I believe it was, around like noon Eastern, they did like a lunchtime special for um, the peach, Vaselini, I think it's called. Um, hobnail, I think they're in the hobnail. But they did it on those for like 30 bucks for two candles with like specialty glass, specialty lid, all of that, and 550 shipping. And I haven't shopped that fast in so long. Um, Cause I just stumbled upon it and I was like, oh crap. And I'm clicking away to um, get my order placed. So it's a mix of that. And they did, I believe two weeks ago, they were doing buy three, get one free. And I did have, I did place an order recently last weekend for the, what was it? It was like two for 44, I think. And all of the new candles came out like peanut butter waffle cone, banana berry smoothie. Um, there's an apricot cobbler, which I thought was super interesting. Those came out super late on a Friday, like 10 p.m. Eastern is when I, at least I stumbled upon them. Um, and I placed my, I placed a huge order. I'm waiting for them to message me back though. Um, cause I did email them to reach out because a lot of other people who ordered after I did, cause there was like a glitch in their website. They got their order shipped and already to them in their hands and my order still in processing. So I'm getting kind of nervous that it didn't actually go through. Um, it did like payment came out. I got a confirmation email. It's in my homeworks.shop account. I got my points for it. Um, but I'm just like, oh, like kind of nervous because I know how websites can work sometimes where it kind of just goes ghost and like it never happened. So hopefully that will ship soon and I will get it soon to share with you guys because there's some amazing candles. Even right here, there's, let's see, two pedestals, two, three, four, well, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm, I lost count again. Three, six, eight, ten. 12, 13 candles right here. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Luckily, they all have scent notes on the bottom, so I don't have to look up anything. But as always, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get started. So I'll be kind of putting the candles kind of back here because the way these are set up over here is very sketchy. Um, first candle we have is Beach Bonfire. And this has scent notes of smoked birch, cypress, ocean mist, and amber. Very smoky. It kind of gives me like the marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works vibe, but way more smoky. Almost like you're having a bonfire. But the smokiness isn't too like, I need to cough kind of smokiness. There's just something, I don't know, there's something else to it that I'm really enjoying, but a lot of people are like, if you like Marshmallow Fire Star, you need to try this, you need to try this. And I finally bit the bullet and ordered it on this. I got this from um, homeworks.shop. So I think QVC is still doing the big deal where it's like two of Beach Bonfire and two other ones for I think 46. I could be wrong on the price and I believe there's still free shipping. So if you're a fan of smoky kind of warm scents, I think Beach Bonfire will be a good one to try. Next up is Coastal Water Lily. So this candle was highly recommended um, for me to try. Um, I really like florals. I'm a huge floral person. Um, that's kind of what I, I gravitate to more clean and floral, but like when it comes to like gourmands and stuff, I'll obviously try them. I kind of like everything if you haven't noticed, if you've been watching my videos. So this one, everyone's like, oh my God, you need to be, try this one too. And I'm like, oh, there's so many. So this one is amazing. I haven't burned it yet. I've been, I've been holding out so hard because I knew my other orders were coming and I just want to do a big video. But this literally, I think, 
it's not in a bad way. I think my grandma has something like a soap or something like this. It kind of reminds me of my grandma. But this smells so, so nice. This has notes of water lily, pink jasmine, white peony, and peach blossom. I think the white peony is why I like this so much. Because peony and roses are my two favorite flowers. And this is just, I cannot wait, cannot wait to light this up. I don't care if it's 100 degrees out or negative 25 out. I might have to pick up another one because I know for a fact already, right off the bat, I'm going to love this fragrance. So this one, I'm very happy about. Can I think? I don't know if they still are. I haven't checked because I'm not a huge avid Ulta shopper anymore. Um, but Ulta did have the old ones. I don't know if the label's still the same. Um, for $15 instead of $30. So you can get them half off. So, and then if you have rewards points, you can basically get them for free and all that. So definitely check out Ulta to see if they still have this online. Um, I have ordered from Ulta before. I've ordered one candle, one homeworks candle from there. And it came perfectly packaged, no issues. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. I know a lot of people have their opinions on Ulta's packaging and shipping and handling. So just try it out for yourself and hope. But I might have to grab that for $15 because that smells good. All right. That was also from the shop. These next two are also from homeworks.shop as well. Next candle is Driftwood. This one has notes of sun-drenched woods, sandalwood, jasmine, verbena. Very cologne heavy for me. Like I remember opening this just to see like, making sure like the wicks and all that are okay. And it was like, boom, in my face. So I think what I'm smelling first I think I'm definitely smelling the, the sun drenched woods and the sandalwood first. The jasmine is very light. It gives it an oomph that it kind of needs to make it more of a woody type of scent. But I'm getting a lot of cologne. I'm not getting like a mahogany teakwood kind of cologne vibe. Like I'm not getting like a what men spray, you know, kind of smell. It's just more woodsy. Um, Definitely a very manly fragrance, but I like woody scents too, especially at night. So I think I will really enjoy this one as well. And then the last one from the shop order is Island Citrus Guava. So this one has notes of juicy clementine, guava nectar, pink grapefruit, and fresh pineapples. The reason why I grabbed this is because of that fresh pineapple and the juicy clementine. I was like, you have me at pineapple and clementine because it's so like, I love juicy scents like that in the spring and summer. And that's exactly what this is. It's kind of giving me, I smell the guava. I don't really get grapefruit, which if you don't know, I am not a huge fan of grapefruit like at all, like the food, the scent, etc. There's only two candles that I like that have a grapefruit, strong grapefruit element in it. And that's the Mandarin Pink Grapefruit from Homeworks and then Essentials from Kringle Candle. It's very heavy on pink, on grapefruit. Ooh, I can't talk. This almost gives me like a juicy tropical bubble gum. Um, very sweet kind of scent that I'm getting, but also very juicy and fresh. But man, this is definitely going to be a very nice candle for summertime, like hot summer day. I'm getting like hot summer day vibes with this. So that's definitely probably when I will be burning that or if I'm in the mood for it. I tend to try to be a seasonal burner, but when I'm in the mood for something, I'm in the mood for something. So I'm not just going to sit around and be like, well, I guess I'll have to choose something else because it's not in season. Like, no, I'm going to burn what I want to burn. That's just kind of how I go. I try to be more seasonal to stay with like my content and what people like and you know try to stay within that realm but if I'm in the mood for a juicy pink grapefruit guava scent for and it's snowing outside I will burn it because I want it that's just kind of how I go I kind of go with the flow all right so next up we have the QVC purchases these have been multiple boxes uh multiple orders I have I think 
one order on the wait list, one's on the way, and another one's all the way. Me and QVC are best friends lately. They just been busting them out with the new candles and sale prices and shipping. And I've just been going crazy over on the QVC website. So first up, because I was really excited for this, is the beach grass scent. So if you didn't know, beach grass, not this one from what I was told, Beachcraft used to be a fragrance in Bath and Body Works, and I have two of them, I believe. Um, and they're halfway burned, and I'm very sad about that. <laughs> I wish I didn't do that. And I really want that candle to come back because it's one of my favorite summer scents from Bath and Body Works. And please ignore my dogs. They will not stop whining if I shut the door. So they're you're gonna be hearing a lot of a lot of nails and bumping into my tripod. <laughs> So this has scent notes of beach grass, sparkling citrus, orange blossom, and oak moss. This is very summery. Very summery. Definitely that orange blossom speaks volumes in this scent or in this candle. I'm not, I get like a very slight citrus, but more beach grass and the orange blossom. Very summery, but I would definitely still burn this in the spring too, because my spring and summer kind of mesh together when it comes to scents so I'm very happy I have this now I'm gonna burn it and if I do really love it I might have to get another one however this came with the nautical um that's what they have like called them there's a little nautical base this and the candle I think was like $37 I don't think I paid shipping either I think shipping was free at the time but this was like clearancing out and I clicked, so I was like, click, click, place, boom, like speed buy, all of that. Um, because I really love this beachy kind of pedestal. And these aren't very heavy. That's the only thing I was kind of like bummed about. Um, because there's another pedestal that I did also grab. But they're not very heavy. I was looking for more of like a heaviness. But I do like how detailed this is. And I've also seen on Facebook groups people taking the pedestals and spray painting them different colors. And I thought that was super interesting and unique. So if I do get another pedestal, um, like the next one I'm about to show you guys, I may spray paint it like black or something, like something cool. Um, because the ones that I've been getting on QVC have been very inexpensive. Um, but I still love, 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 love. And let me see if I could put this in the holder. So this is kind of what it came as. We're not like obviously separated in the box, but what it looks like on the QVC website. So I don't know. I just, I love the look of it. Very summertime. Very excited to get this out, back out, I should say, for summer. So that was that. I'm going to put that over here. And then the next one that I got was this tropical flower hibiscus flower kind of pedestal a little bit taller as you can see still very light um nothing too extravagant with the weight but the detail is very intricate if you can see the detailing so nice on here and this one came with the candle hibiscus flower and this label is stunning, very, very spring, summer. So this has scent notes of red hibiscus, mango slices, nectarine blossom, and tiari flower. So Homeworks does have a tiari flower candle. Um, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I did a video, I don't think I've done a video on the rest of my Homeworks candles, because um, I do have a lot, I've been ordering a lot. So I have like a whole collection, which I will get into and have like a my homeworks collection type of video because I have a lot of homeworks candles. But this one, it did worry me. It did worry me that this one had really kind of short little thin wicks, but I'm not mad at it because this was clearanced out as well. And this smells, I smell the mango, I smell the nectarine blossom. 
I get a floral element, which is probably the cherry flower and the red hibiscus. But this is very tropical. Um, tropical fruity first and then the hint of floral. Now, what I've noticed with, um, with Harry's florals, there's always like a food element to it. So, or a gourmand note, I should say. So that floral may come out later and I'm just smelling the mango first, but either way, this smells absolutely delicious. I'm loving this. I wish it came in just like a set of two because I would order, I'd probably order this in a set of two as well because I really, really like that juicy mango note. I'm gonna move this over here. Next up, another clearance out find was Strawberry Patch. And you see the photo label of those juicy looking strawberries. I love, love strawberries. This has notes of strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, vanilla, sugar. Now when I'm smelling this, I smell mixed berries. I don't get just straight strawberry. So the name of strawberry patch, I'm not quite understanding because I was expecting more of just like fresh strawberries. I wasn't expecting blackberry and raspberry. Cause I, I ordered it without looking at the notes. So that's probably my bad. Um, but when it says strawberry patch, I'm thinking just strawberry. But this is very much mixed berry. It almost gives me fruit snacks. Um, you know, with kids in the house, they love their fruit snacks. And so do I, I love fruit snacks. And that's what reminds me of like a freshly opened little bag of fruit snacks. But I do very much enjoy this. I like a good berry scent. I think this would be a great candle to burn along with something else or alone. So you could do like, let's say, you could burn the birthday cake um, by Homeworks and this and do like a strawberry cake kind of scent in your house. That would be very like, actually that sounds quite delicious and I might have to do that. Um, but yes, this is not just strawberry. So don't be fooled by the name or the picture. This has definitely more berry elements. So it's a mixed, mixed berry patch um, instead. Still a great find. They, I'm looking at the other one right now. This did come a set of two on QVC and it was clearance. I don't know if it's still available or if it's still on clearance, but definitely check it out if you're a mixed berry fan. I think you'll enjoy this one. Okay, sorry about that. Maya was chewing on a toy and it's her rubber chicken and it literally is the loudest thing. Like if you see the TikToks where they go in the bin of the rubber chickens and press them down and it makes a really loud sound. She has one of those. Well, it used to be Moose's, but she takes over all the toys. And she has been squeezing and chewing that while I'm recording this video. And now she wants to be part of the video. You wanna be in the video? <laughs> she also loves to smell candles too, so you can't really blame her. So this set, I believe, is the East Hampton set. This was randomly on clearance. Um, I wanna say this past this past weekend or was it like late last week or early last week and they came in three different scents and this the set itself was going for like $70 for the, I swear the longest time and I had it in my wish list all of a sudden I saw it go for like I think 39 I think it was like 39 and some change and I think shipping was included in that or was not included so I had to pay shipping but either way I'd rather pay that price than the $70 price and shipping so I snagged them they all have these gorgeous like white um, lids with the monogram on there and this first one is honeysuckle mimosa as you can see there this has scent notes of yellow honeysuckle golden mimosa neroli honey almond blossom this intrigued me because it has the honeysuckle in it and I love honeysuckles very this is very unique. The honeysuckle is there, but not like pow in your face, kind of wild honeysuckle. I smell a lot of the honey almond blossom with the mimosa. I don't get like a bubbly, like fizzy mimosa, but I sure do get a good blend of the, I smell the honeysuckle, the honey almond blossom I do smell in the mimosa. I'm not really getting neroli yet, 
but that doesn't mean it will come out it won't come out later so that is the first one out of this collection and then if you didn't know if you're not a shopper of homeworks this one kind of had a, a little rough trip so there's a little bit of wax on it but they do have these um plastic Kind of dust covers to hold down the wax or the wicks and then you get a cover like this on top to kind of hold the wicks in place i do like this a lot especially when the candles may come out of the jar completely like the wick clip will unglue to the jar because of weather you know when it gets super super cold and you go in a super warm climate it just it's science and that's just what that's just how it happens so i do appreciate this because it kind of protects the wicks from going on the bottom of the of the lid here so they come in all all the candles I kind of take mine out as I open them but sometimes I just leave them in next one is wild raspberry and lemon flower and this one has notes of wild raspberry lemon flower strawberry leaf geranium this one is absolutely absolutely delicious i'm trying to get the there we go the little protector there off i smell that wild raspberry it gives me a sun like if you like bath and body works sun ripen raspberry same raspberry element like for sure same raspberry element to my nose on cold I smell the strawberry leaf, the geranium I'm, I'm smelling. This is very, very good. This one is absolutely delicious. I really enjoy this one. I think this would be a good spring, warm spring day. Next up is Velvet Peony and Jasmine. This one has scent notes of peony petals, pink jasmine, blue freesia, and bergamot. This one is very, try and get the protector out again. Very floral. I think, yeah, this one is all, all floral. It's my nose at least. Very strong in the floral. I like the peony petals. As you know, I love peonies. In the blue freesia I like this one a lot so if you enjoy florals you may enjoy this one like I said earlier those do come in set this set came in a set of three so they don't come separately as far as I know unless that's something that will be in the future or has been done before but these do come in the set of three all right and the last set I believe this one's the Palm Beach garden set so these as well had the white lid with the monogram and they did come in set of three. So this one is Water Lily and Neroli. And this has set notes of Water Lily, Neroli, Lotus Blossom, and Yuzu. Again with the plastic covering. If I can find the little tab right here. very aquatic because that water lily the lotus blossom comes out and that yuzu gives it a weird like a, I don't know it's like a weird planty um, kind of smell that I'm getting but I do really like how unique this is and I feel like this would be late spring transition to summer um, scent for those that are seasonal burners but I do I do like this one a lot next up is blue violet azalea I love the floral like the kind of wallpaper e kind of wraparound labels on some of these this one had a pretty rough trip because there's some wax that kind of like just flaked off which is fine no big deal this has notes of blue violet mimosa flower pink grapefruit and apple blossom so there's that pink grapefruit note again and but man this that apple blossom definitely is very strong 
mimosa flower. This, the pink grapefruit gives it a citrusy vibe, but not just straight pink grapefruit. And I like that a whole lot. I'm glad it's not strong in the grapefruit because, yeah, I don't know. But this is just, I like this. I like how citrusy summery that is. And the last one that came in that set of three is apricot and beach sage. This has scent notes of apricot nectar, beach sage, coconut palm, and orange flower. I have yet to, to take these off, so I apologize. That orange, I smell the orange flower. I smell the apricot. I smell the juiciness of the apricot, almost like when you eat an apricot, like you smell like, it just smells like the apricot. And beach sage, I don't, I'm not really getting beach sage right off the bat, but it is, it is there. Just very slight, um, I believe. Yeah, this one is coming out of the jar, so. I'm going to have to be mindful when I burn it because I don't want the wick clips to move or anything. But once it burns and melts down, it'll fix itself. Yeah, that was the last one of that set. So those were all of the Homeworks candles that I've gotten in the last, I want to say like three weeks, um, just about. I have plenty more I haven't shown you guys yet because when I get them, I put them immediately in my, in my stash and then... I plan on what I'm going to burn for the week or what reviews I'm going to put up and normally my homeworks candles I just keep forgetting oh yeah I did buy that and I did get this order in and I just forget so I'm going to start being more mindful when I get a package to go ahead and open it do a video first sniff impression and then put it in my rotation um there are a couple candles I'm thinking I'm looking over at my collection now that I kind of want to do reviews on that are still available. Um, what Sangria, I know I have. It's from the shop. I want to get that review out as well. I'm going to get it burning and a review out. And I'm going to do this Coastal Water Lily as well because that one just smells so good. And I'm really hoping it's a heavy hitter when it comes to throw. Um, most of the candles that I get or that I've experienced from Harry have been... Some have been more medium, but a lot of them have been very high thrower. So I'm very excited um, to get burning. I will do a video on my Homeworks candle collection. I'm hoping my big order of the two for 44 sale process and they just are a little behind and haven't packed it yet because I'm just like, I'm so excited. And I bought so many because I think a glitch happened with the affiliate code that I use because some um, of my friends do have affiliate codes with Homeworks and they give like an extra 10% off I think when you do like order over 60 but I ordered before the huge glitch happened where nobody could check out and they gave it 20% off so I'm like I don't know how I did that I just clicked really fast and placed my order so that should be hopefully one day ship it and get it all processed Usually it's been taking about a week, like a week after I order is when they ship it and then I get it the next like three to four days. So I'm just like cross my fingers that they email me back like, yeah, we have it. Just sorry for the delay or something because I would be so sad because a lot of that stuff on there has completely sold out. Um, I think uh, Harry is going live on Homeworks, I believe on Thursday. I could be wrong on that. So normally when that happens, it's either going to be new product, a new sale price, a new big deal, or free shipping, or five easy pays. So if you're new to uh, QVC or new to Homeworks and want to order on QVC, definitely check that out. Um, because you never know what could happen on QVC. So that is all I have for this video. Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, have you ordered anything from Homeworks? What's one of your all-time favorite Homeworks candles if you're a Homeworks lover? It's just so I can kind of see like what I need to get into and what I should try next and order next to put in my collection. Um, 
yeah let me know all that in the comments below and make sure you subscribe there's a lot of you that are watching not subscribed you need to subscribe because can or yeah candle reviews candle hauls they're all coming at you i'm just busting them out now so you have some content to watch um and i'm not slowing down so make sure you subscribe turn on your notification bell to be notified when i upload a video follow me on instagram i'm posting a lot there do instagram stories follow me on tiktok i need to add my tiktok in my description I'm gonna be starting tiktok again um yeah and i'll see you guys in the next one